All right, what shall I wear today? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right, that's what I'll wear. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm certainly not going to get dressed in front of you all. Um, there I am. All right, so I'm in my uh, lavish bathroom afforded by you, the members at the ATU convention. Thank you very much. I am very grateful. <clears throat> I am uh, going to indulge in this uh, bottle. This is my Fiji bottle from yesterday. Um, I, I, f I filled it with tap water <laughs> and I let it sit overnight uh, uh, so it could gas off, you know, with the chlorine and the whatever. I don't see any um, what appears to be micro solids. So after a 12 minute run, <laughs> I'm going to take a chance because I'm thirsty. Mm hmm. Yeah, so um, let's uh, let's take a seat over here at my my sofa. <laughs> um, uh, it's a nice sofa. So, what's happening? What happened? What did I do? All right, so we're getting ready. We're we're convention is going to convene very shortly. Um, it's uh, 0600. Uh, right now, and uh, I am, uh, our convention hall opens at 7.30. We have a uh, operator's exhibit, uh, not sure what that is, at 8, and a, uh, the ATU history room opens at 8, and then the convention is opened officially at 8.30. So I want to be there for that. Um, I, you know, I ran, yeah, like it's about 12 minutes uh, down whatever main strip this is here. And I encountered, I must have encountered 20 homeless people uh, sleeping on the streets. You didn't see that in the daytime. Um, the maintenance crews were out there power washing. Um, so they keep it clean here. Um, unlike our city in Chicago and at the CTA where just, you know, bare minimum staff, um, there is some manner of hygiene here, but we know that comes with the, uh, privilege of having these massive, uh, entertainment facilities. Um, the contrast between rich and poor is so stark <laughs> and um, this is disgusting um, and I had showed you yesterday all the trinkets they gave us the iPad mini um, and whatnot I, I did charge it up I turned it on there's nothing on it there's no program on it or anything so I don't know I don't know. I just use my phone. Uh, we have no books. We have no. Uh, we have no program. We have something from last year, but uh, so we're winging it, brothers and sisters. This is my, like I said, my first time here, so I'm gonna do my best to to help you all out. Uh, 308 members in the chat for the convention, my my interactive journal chat. I have put a link for the resolutions and the bylaw changes that are being proposed. Please go through that stuff now and vote. I will go with what you want to go with, okay? And look out. There's a resolution in there where the international vice presidents get a 6% pay raise uh, over the next three years. Uh, so they're going to get a total in three years, 18% uh, increase in salary. For what? Uh, we have called these interna so-called international vice presidents here in Chicago at 241 and 308, literally begging 
uh, for intervention in the totally anti-democratic uh, behavior of President Keith Hill and President Eric Dickson. Um, the, the, the hubris of these people to ask us, the members, to give them a 6% raise we're going to barely get nine point something at the CTA. Uh, and don't even ask about the part timers. <clears throat> so, you know, this is utter, utter disgusting. You know, it's like you have no clue. So my point is saying this is we as union workers, especially those of us with full time jobs that are able to make a respectable living, are actually duty bound to make this society right and to take the wealth from these disgusting billionaire bloodsuckers of the poor and invest it in our communities and build up our communities because they're building up their wealth in their offshore accounts and their fancy resorts with gated communities and whatnot they don't want affordable housing in their neighborhood they sure want it in ours, but they still don't want to provide, they still won't want to provide living wage, real living wages. They still don't want to share in the benefits. They still don't want to pay the taxes so that we can all have health care and education and uh, not have to die in the streets like all these poor people I see here in Las Vegas. Uh, I saw a man. He was bathing, okay, a homeless man. I mean, he wasn't, he was dignified about it, but he was taking a bath in, in some of the pools that are here. You know, the, the pools, the outdoor pools. This is a desert, and they, they have, like, water fountains and stuff. It's hideous. It's absolutely hideous. This is a total affront to the environment over here. This is Sodom and Gomorrah, and when I write that, for those of you who are into the Bible and stuff, look it up. Those of you not into the Bible, check it out anyways. Um... It's pretty interesting. It's in the Old Testament, the Bible. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. I read the Bible. Muslims read the Bible. We believe in the Bible. Did you know that? Yeah, check it out. Um, so, any any comments? Uh, let me see if I see any comments up here. Okay, no. Um, so, any questions? Go ahead. I, I'll just wrap it up. I just want to do a little update um, about what I observed and... Um, it's really sad, you know, a lot of, a lot of people um, suffering out here. And here we are partying like it doesn't affect us. Um, you know, in Chicago, uh, there was a leak from the control center of, of, a, of a terrorist who wanted to, he's, he's vowing to kill everybody, everybody on a, on a bus and, and to get the CTA employees too. You know, it's just terrible what's going on back in Chicago. Here we are, acting like nothing's going on. We hear nothing from the union presidents, nothing, nothing. They don't care. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me uh, get dressed off camera. And um, I'm going to try to find something to eat. I couldn't scalp my uh, Michael Jackson tribute tickets uh like I said, I just encountered homeless people. I'm not going to try to sell them a $90 ticket so that I can buy breakfast at the hotel. Oh, this place. Mm, God save us. All right, y'all. Peace.